Today we're going to be decorating the whole flat for Halloween. So we're having our annual Halloween party, which this would be our third year of having our Halloween party. I'm so excited. This is the second one in this flat and we're going all out. <laughs> I've been collecting Halloween decorations the whole of October, maybe a little before that. And I'm so, so excited. So in today's vlog, you're going to see me decorate the whole flat with all the decorations. I'll do a mini little haul to begin with. Um, some of my favourite decorations. And then we'll put them up in a very calming, relaxing Halloween prep vlog. And then I'm going to insert some clips when it's all done up. And some party clips, because you know, why not? I've just finished doing my work. I had some videos I had to film, some content that I had deadlines to do. Um, and now I'm gonna fully decorate. That's why I'm all ready. Usually I would just do this in my pajamas. So yeah, let's do it. So excited. I am a Halloween girly through and through. I'm not really a big Christmas girly. We usually always have a Halloween gaff and a New Year's gaff because they're our favorite. We are thinking of doing a Christmas gaff this year, but while we do it, I don't know yet because that means I'll probably have to buy a lot of Christmas decorations and spend all the money on Halloween decorations. But we'll see. Let's get into it. Hello. So first little random thing, who here went to the Eras tour? Because me, oh, the cinema version, because also we're in the UK. So when we were leaving the cinema, they gave everyone, how cute, we have two of them. Um, we need to find frames for them, but they're kind of a weird shape. But we will find frames. I just had to mention it because they're sitting there. So not everything we got is decorations. Some of it is like party things that are kind of cute. And obviously I'm going to be decorating the whole flat. So you're going to see the decorations, but you're probably not going to see all the little random bits and bobs. So I'm going to show you them and then we'll start decorating. So we have been collecting <laughs> for a while. Beside me is a really big Morrison's bag, a box and another bag and random little bits on the floor. So we have a lot. <laughs> um, I've, Last year we didn't have that many Halloween decorations to my standard because we left it kind of last minute. So this month, this year, um, at the start of the month, I have been pretty much going to the Halloween section in every single store and buying stuff. Um, is that good? No. <laughs> for my bank balance, no. But for my inner child, love that. Um, ever since we moved out, we started having like parties. We're not in wild, just having people over. I never really had like gaffes. I would go to gaffs all the time and like house parties and their family would be like on holiday or something. You'd have like a whole house. Um, I never got to do that, which I know a lot of people that never got to do that. It's nothing like, I never got to do that. It's just like mom and dad, we just didn't have gaffs. So I think when I moved out, I was like, oh my God, I get to have house parties. And you kind of forget when you've moved out that you can like, you don't have to ask anyone. <laughs> so obviously I live with my partner, so we talk about it, but like you don't have to ask to have them and sleep over and all that. So that's where the like the gaffs and house parties have kind of came from. Anytime there's an occasion, I'm like, let's have a house party. Um, it sounds like our neighbours will hate us. No, <laughs> um, we only have, like I said earlier, like a New Year's and a Halloween. Sometimes I'll have like pre-birthday mini house gaff and then we leave or whatever. So my neighbours don't hate us, no, it's like twice a year and I always tell them that we're going to have a Halloween party or a New Year's party and we won't be too loud or whatever. Stop blabbering on and show you just some random stuff. So we got this shot glass holder. It contains five shot glasses. They are plastic, um, obviously. Um, five shot glasses and a shot glass holder. This reminded me of when you ever watch um, Andy Cohen's, and Andy Cohen's, is that how you say his name? Anyway, has, they do like a ski shot. Is that like a Canadian thing? It reminded me of that, but I think it's too small to have it. There's one, two, there's five shot glasses. Not five people are gonna fit like that, but we could use it for like two or three people. Anyway, I've not opened it yet because I want to like open it in front of you. I know I've literally not put a single decoration up other than this. <laughs> um, because I wanted to do it all with you guys. So these are like the little shot glasses. I kind of like that they're not glass, um, but they're big shot glasses. I am such a lightweight with alcohol, it's actually ridiculous. But anyway, so how cute is this? It's a goat, like I'll show you it without. <laughs> you can do some damage with this. So cute. Um, I don't remember prices or anything, but this was from Poundland, FYI. Um, we then got these two cups from the range. 
these were like a pound fifty or something each and they say drink up witches they're plastic again they're not glass um but yeah these hold a lot like i put one shot of tequila and then all orange juice and guys they hold a lot this had to take like too many cartons of orange juice to fill so they are huge i don't know if you can tell but they're very big so me and Erin got these other people can use them at the gaff um i just wanted like a certain cup that i'd be drinking out for for the gaff next is this little mug so these are just some of these are just like little halloween things that we've gathered that are cute i made her in a boo basket and this was one of the things in it is little ghost mug She's really cute. I think we'll put like little sweets in this or something and give them to people. These are back napkins. ASMR. No, these are adorable. These are little bats and we won't be serving food, but like I say serving food, our first ever Halloween party, we had a whole spread of food and sweets and we told people to bring stuff and it just never got it. We went to like Costco and got cookies and brownies and we had like food, but it was just kind of like a waste of money because no one really ate it. So this year and last year, we just told people to order food in. But in Paisley, on the same night that we're having a Halloween party, is the Halloween, Halloween festival. And there's gonna be like food trucks and things. So I think we'll all go there and then come back here. Anyway, I'm gonna need so much information, but I don't care about it, but bats. Standard house party essentials, red solo cups. And then you have like the little shop friends. The year after COVID happened, we had our Halloween gaff when you were allowed to. Um, and we had um, fake injection shots um, to make sure everyone had their vaccine before they entered the, um, the gaff, AKA it was tequila and grenadine in them. And everyone had to like take a safety shot before they went into the gaff. Um, drink pouches. So I like making like a drink up um, for people. I don't, I like like serving alcohol as well. We done that, the tequila and grenadine. Um, I think last year there was some purple rain stuff that I made. Um, and this year, I think it's gonna be some sort of champagne I have in grenadine. And then I have some tequila sunrises I'm gonna make. So anyway, so these are the drink pouches. I am just gonna open one to look at it with you guys. That's so cute. Oh my God, you get to put the name, the age. They're not suitable for zombies, but they're suitable for vampires. Love that. That is so cute. It's adorable. And these have like four in a pack. So we got two different packs of them. So that's eight. Um, we have pop candy in this bag. This isn't really Halloween-y, but I like to put these in cocktails or like on rims of cocktails. So we'll be doing that. Um, I picked up a puzzle game. So I was gonna just make up a game of like a who did it murder th um, mystery thing. But we found this game when we were in the shops and we decided to bring this because buy it because it was a whole it's less work. So this is Murder at the Manor and it's less work for me, but I like party games and we have prizes and things like that. We have Halloween crackers, I know these are like a Christmassy thing. These were from Timeline as well. They're a six pack, there is 12 in these. Last year we had a bunch of kind of different groups of people come from like our friends that hadn't really met before. So we had like icebreakers where you had to um, guess. We covered this place in bats and we had the exact number of every bat. Um, and if people got it right at the end, or like they did it pretty much like two hours after people got here, um, they won a bottle of alcohol. And it's kind of an icebreaker because everyone then was talking to each other and everyone was chatting to each other and being like, what do you have? What do you, have you counted such and such? And we gave little hints and things and we saw people. So that was a nice icebreaker. This year we have some games. We obviously have Murder at the Manor. Um, we have some random like beer pong games. The fairy lights are back out. These, um, I can pick the color, I'm sure. Um, and these will be put in on red. <laughs> So we'll have these. I have like my sunset lamp and I have like an RGB light that I'll put in the corner and it'll be red as well because I think it just adds like a better theme. Erin had to stop me from buying a smoke machine. So we have more solo cups. Do we need all of them? Probably not. Um, then we went and got some decorations from TK Maxx and they were on sale because this is what I'm, this is maybe 18 pounds I'm so sorry TK Maxx I don't know who lied to you but this is not worth 18 pounds it's worth four I'd say that it has a bunch of decorations in it I'm gonna like whiz through the decorations and then we'll start putting them up um, we have plates again these were from TK Maxx they're just little skulls so if we order 
pizza or whatever then people actually can eat it off of something and not our plates just because of dishes we have more shot glasses again we probably don't need more i even bought these clear shot glasses because they're gonna make like zombie brain shots i'll insert a picture but they're really spooky looking and kind of cool so we need them oh my god so these are an essential anytime i have a party anytime i get these like fringe curtains um, I think on my birthday I got like all pink ones. Last year on Halloween we got all red ones, but they only had silver or blue and silver to me is more Halloweeny. So we got a bunch of these. I like having like a photo booth area. Oh my god, shut up, a photo booth, a photo selfie area um, in the house. So I'll set it up against the wall and I'll put my ring light on and people can just take pictures in front of it that's like in and it's like a spooky background or whatever. Um, and then we got like a different version of them just because they didn't have four of these and it was like four for the price of one. So we got these ones. Oh, and we got more of these, we got more of these candles. See these candles behind me on these? This is a bleeding candle. So when you light it, it will bleed red. Um, so we got another two of them to put in other places. I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna put them, but we got them. Erin got this. <laughs> As you can see, Erin only got like a few things because I'm a maniac and kept buying stuff. So this is like a light up pillow. Um, we need to put batteries in it, but it's so cute. Like, come on. So every, also every year, um, I try, we have a little glass panel on our door and I like to write on it, like whether it be like happy birthday or happy new year. Last year I had for Halloween, like entered if you dare. Um, this year I just, um, I ran out of them pens that I draw on, so I got this and it just says do you want to play a game and it has little spooky hands on it. Love that, you'll see me put them up. Uh, second DIY we're going to do is I'll insert a picture, we saw it on Pinterest, and you take like a cauldron and you put a light in it and then you put a bunch of disco balls in it and it will be like spooky. I don't know, it'll look, it's like cute Halloween stuff. This was from Flying Tiger. I don't remember how much it was. We got these purple LED lights for inside of it and we'll like wrap it around it as well just so it has like a bit more ambiance. Um, I got these little ghosties. Oh, look at the ghosties. And next we got these bats. <laughs> these will be like hanging from the roof. Okay, this is gonna be like the fast round. So we have bat bunting. I can't say that fast. We have happy Halloween, love that. Them foil balloons are the fucking death of me though, so I probably won't blow them up in this video because I will scream my head off if they don't work. Pumpkins, of course. We have more pumpkins, of course. We have glitter, no, we have star backdrop. Not that spooky, but still cute. We have a skull gar gar garland. Guys, you know by now that I can't speak. If you're watching these videos and you've not saw anything before, I can't actually talk English sometimes. So yeah, we have these little witches hats that will dangle from roofs. Another witches hat. We have flying bats again, love that. We have this cobweb that we'll probably put round this. Spooky, I'll probably do that first to be honest. Um, we have more spiders because yeah. We have cobwebs. We have balloons again that say spooky vibes. Guys, we're going all out today. All out. So, good googly eyes. Erin picked these up. I don't know what they're going to put them on, but cute. We have this happy Halloween. Love. We have caution tape. We actually got this last year and didn't use it. It was only 10p, so caution. That'll be on the front door. We have more little skeletons. We have all ghosties. b &M's Halloween section this year popped off. All of this like black stuff, like the packaging is from b &M's and they really slayed. We have this one. Big party packs like that I love. We have more bats. And then we have this table, guard, uh, table cover that has little dancing skeletons all over it. It's so weird. This is obviously a drink can canter, is that how you say it? Um, tequila, what am I going to put in this? A tequila sunrise is going in here, so for everyone to drink if they want it. But yeah, and we'll probably dye it red and put some glitter in it, because why not? It's everything that I have, so we're going to decorate it together. 